you see this video is for Wednesday. It's Wednesday. Okay, it's Wednesday. All right. Not going to waste any more time. Let's get right into it. Got to start by reading this here. Wednesday is the middle of the working week. So to many, it's the herald of the fast approaching weekend. That's why they call it Hump Day in America, because it's all smooth sailing from there on out until the weekend. What? You don't call it Hump because it's smooth sailing? I thought, thought they called it Hump because, like, it's a hump in the week, right? Or like a hump on a camel. It's yeah, smooth sailing. What? Am I missing something? Am I just very confused? Because if you look at a camel, it's like, okay, you're down, you go up, that's the hump and the thing, and then you go back down. It's the middle of the week. I, I don't know. Just a hump is in the middle of a camel's back, right? I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Uh, Wednesday is a name often used for fictional characters, as well as the name used by English football clubs. With ties to gods and astrology, Wednesday has some interesting facts about it. So without further ado, let's get on with it. Actually, there's going to be some more ado, okay? Because... <laughs> That was a joke, what I just said, but I'm going to talk about something else, because maybe it mentions it in one of these facts, but why, why is it spelled the way it is, you know, but, I mean, I'm sure it's going to be explained, oh, as I'm, I'm kind of skin, skimming this first fact, it looks like, you know, let's just read the fact, because it looks like it might be mentioning, actually, no, it's just old English, why did they spell it? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Alright. Fact number one. Wednesday is named after Woden, the most important god in the German pantheon, and is often associated with the nose god Odin. The name is derived from the Old English word Wednesday and the Middle English word Wednesday, meaning Day of Woden, reflecting the pre-Christian religion practiced by the Anglo-Saxons. Huh? They should have kept the spelling as the Middle English word. <laughs> that's, that's how I'd imagine. Like some people spelling the name Wednesday if they wanted to name their kid Wednesday, but they didn't want the traditional spelling, you know? Alright, fact number two. Woden and Odin are also associated with the Roman god Mercury, which is reflected in, in languages derived from Latin in their names for Wednesday, like French with Mercredi, Mercredi, I, I don't know, Spanish with Miracoles, and Italian with Mercoledi. Hey, if you are French, Spanish, or Italian, forgive me for butchering those pronunciations. <laughs> okay, fact number three. In many Slavic languages, Wednesday translates to the middle. Okay, makes sense. I mean, it's the middle of the work week. It's also just the middle of the week, because the week starts Sunday. No. <laughs> uh, you know, what do I know? Alright, uh, fact number four. Similarly to this, in Estonian, Lithuanian, Latvian, and Mandarin Chinese, the name for Wednesday translate to third day. Well, that just throws my theory out the window. It's interesting how in different places, I mean, things just mean different things. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm saying I don't know too much. How about this? How about we don't say I don't know for the rest of this video? Let's see if we can do it. Well, I guess.
it's not we, just me, unless you've been saying Wednesday, and Wednesday, unless you've been saying, I don't know while watching this video, then let's see if you can do it too. Fact number five. Quakers continue to refer to Wednesday as the fourth day of the week in keeping with the traditional calendar so as to avoid the pagan associations Wednesday holds. I mean, I refer to Wednesday as the fourth day if I were to refer to it as a, a number. Um, but I'm not a Quaker. <laughs> or maybe I am, and I don't know. I don't think I'm a Quaker, you know? So, I, uh, I almost said it. I almost said it. I caught myself, though. So, yeah, that's, that's interesting. Because there are many calendars, even when you get your phone, at least look at my phone, it starts on Sunday, you know. I wonder when this really changed. Hmm. Fact number six. According to a survey, bosses are most receptive to requests from their employees on Wednesday. So if you're going to ask for a pay raise or a holiday, make sure to do it on a Wednesday, people sure to do it on a Wednesday, because that's the day you're more likely to get a positive response. Fact number seven. In the Adams Family films, the daughter is called Wednesday Adams. Creator Charles Adams said he chose this name because of the nursery rhyme, Monday's Child, which says the Wednesday's child is full of woe. Wow. I do not know this nursery rhyme. Let us look up this nursery. No, nursery rhyme. Maybe I've seen it and just don't know. Uh, let's see here. Okay. How does the nursery rhyme Monday's child go? Monday's child is fair of face. Tuesday's child is full of grace. Wednesday's child is full of woe. Thursday's child has far to go. Friday's child is loving and giving. Saturday's child works hard for his living. And the child that is born on the Sabbath day is bonny and blithe and good and gay. Uh, gay, gay means happy. Just for those of you who don't, who may not know. That's what, um, yeah. Gay meant, yeah, I didn't know. I didn't know that. ever heard that nursery rhyme before. Well, I mean, there you have it. I've heard it now. I mean, because I said it to myself. So, there's that. Okay. Let's keep it going. You want to keep it going? Let's keep it going. Fact number eight. Wednesday is also seen as a recurring character name within some fiction, including Richard James Allen's Thursday's Fictions and Neil Gaiman's American Gods, which has recently been adapted for an Amazon Prime TV show. Well, I don't think I've read either one of these things. Well, not I don't think. I haven't read either one of these things, so I had no idea. Fact number nine. In John Steinbeck's 1945 novel, Sweet Thursday, the Thursday of the title was said to have been preceded by a lousy Wednesday. I mean, okay, sure. <laughs> That's all well and good, I guess. Alright, fact number ten. In Japanese, the word for Wednesday, suiyubi, Suiyubi means water day, as it is associated with the planet Mercury, Suisei, which means water star. Ah, well, it's so interesting how in languages we saw earlier, like in Spanish, Miracles, Mercury, it's all, but even over in Japan, the word for Wednesday, water day. Which is, we see, 
which is sweepy. I mean, they all just always tie together. Interesting. I mean, based on your location, but interesting nonetheless. Fact number 11. In German, the word for Wednesday, Mittwoch, is the only day of the week not to end with tag, which means day. Well, why, why is that the only one? change it for just Wednesday? What in the world? What's happening here? Why did they do this? Well, let's see. I'm gonna see if I can just search and it'll just tell me something. But why? Okay, here we go. Why is Wednesday called? Let's look. Um, leave the cookies alone. I don't want any cookies. No, I will not be accepting your cookies. Let's see here. I always wonder why Wednesday is called da -da -da. Wait, what? Wait, wait, so this is giving me more questions. Oh. Okay, so in Germany, like they only use Monday to Saturday. Is that why this person is saying while the middle of it's actually Thursday. Did the week starts on Sunday back then? Well, sounds very strange. And Sunday is the Catholic seventh day. Did the people already have a work week from Monday to Friday? Huh? Let's see. In the U.S., Sunday is still considered the first day of the week. This used to be the case in Europe, too. It also works for a five-day work week. Apart from that, it is what it is. Languages are seldom logic. my question. German word for Wednesday. Why is it called a middag? Okay. Boop, 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 boop. The Dutch name for the day, Wonsdag, has the same etymology as English Wednesday. It comes from Middle Dutch. Wodensdag. It's not really telling me why, but hey, why well, we know it was changed in the 10th century for whatever reason. Fact number 12. The UK football team. That's soccer if you're American. Sheffield Wednesday started out as the Wednesday Cricket Club in 1820. They named themselves after the day on which they played their matches. So they were a cricket club and transitioned to football. That's soccer if you're American. Why did they stop playing cricket? It's because cricket is not as popular as soccer. I wonder. Fact number 13. The Wednesday before Easter is known as Holy Wednesday or sometimes Spy Wednesday in reference to Judas Iscariot's betrayal of Jesus Iscariot. Uh, spy Wednesday. <laughs> I mean, it's either holy or spy. Sneaky spy. Bad spy. Spy that you do not want on your team. Spy. Spy versus spy. Or maybe not the last part. Fact number 14. The first day of Lent in the Western Christian calendar is known as Ash Wednesday and follows Shrove Tuesday. Yeah. There you go. Fact number 15. Have I said I don't know? 
since I said I was going to say it, me just asking if I said it and saying it, that doesn't count. Okay, fact number 50. Red Wednesday is the name of a Yazidi festival celebrated in Iraq. What's a, what's a Yazidi festival? What does this mean? The festival is celebrated from October 6th to 13th October in honor of Sheikh Adi. It is an important time for cohesion if possible. Yazidis make at least one pilgrimage to Lalish during their lifetime, and those living in the region try to attend at least once a year for the feast. Also, is this a religion? It is. Okay. It's a monotheistic ethnic religion that has roots in a Western Iranic pre Zoroastrian religion. Okay. There you go. It's a religious festival. Fact number 16. Wednesday is known as Hump Day in America because it is the middle of the working week. And the hump, which you have to get over to make it to Friday. Yes, okay, see, that's better than what I was trying to say earlier and what they said earlier. You know, you get over the hump. Yeah, okay, that's good. I like that better than anything that's been said previously. Fact number 17. In Hindu mythology, is the god of Mercury, midweek Wednesday, and of merchants and merchandise. Ah. Uh, okay. A lot of Mercury association. A lot of, a lot. Fact number 18. Well, exactly as I said yesterday. <laughs> In the Thai solar calendar, associated with Wednesday is green. I mean, fine, sure. Fact number 19. The astrological sign for Wednesday is the same as the astrological sign for the planet Mercury. What is, what is the astrological sign for the planet Mercury? I don't know. I don't know what that is. Oh, is this it here? This tiny thing, astrological symbols. Uh, to where? Where are the oh, planets? Okay, here we go. Mercury. Okay, yeah. You can really see it on that Google page. I don't know what any of this means. We can go back to the meaning here. Uh, it says Mercury. But symbol rubber. Okay. I don't know. I don't know what it means. Any astrology people, enlighten your boy. All right, because I'm not going to spend this whole time, the rest of this time, looking up astrology. Wait, hold on. Let me go back here for a second. No food history. Up, oh, bringing up other videos. Uh, let's see here. What zodiac sign is planning? What is this? Gemini. Ge I don't know what's happening here. And astrology Mercury is the planner of communication, intellect, memory, and transportation. Alright, let's let's keep going. Fact number twenty. In American Christianity, both Catholic and Protestant churches schedule studies, prayers, or meetings on Wednesday nights. This is reflected in the sports calendar for many public American schools, with Mondays and Thursdays being nights for girls' games. Tuesdays and Fridays being nights for boys games, often avoiding Wednesdays all together. All right. Cool. Fact number 21. In Australia, on Wednesday, February 16, 1983, a series of over 100 bushfires started that swept across southern Australia killing some 75 people, injuring 2,600 people, destroying roughly 9,000 homes, killing over 300,000 livestock, and causing damage totaling around 324 million. This day would become known as Ash Wednesday. Wait a minute, I thought Ash 
Wednesday meant something else. Well, there was some sort of religious connotation. Yeah. Okay, that's true. There's no mention of Ash Wednesday in the Bible, but there is a tradition of adorning ashes as a sign of penitence that predated Jesus. That predates Jesus in the Old Testament. Job repents in dust and ashes, and there are other associations of ashes and repentance in Esther, Samuel, Isaiah, and Jeremiah. Um, Ash Wednesday is a solemn reminder of human mortality and the need for reconciliation with God and marks the beginning of the penitential Lenten season. It is commonly observed with ashes and fasting. Ash Wednesday is a Christian holy day, prayer and fasting. I mean, that's what I thought. I thought that was a religious connotation, but this is saying that in Australia, I mean, I mean, I guess there can be more than one meaning to something, right? I'm, I just always heard of the religious connotation, and never this one. Yeah, it is what it is. Fact number twenty-two. On Wednesday, May 18, 1797, the first U.S. Navy ship. The United States was launched. <laughs> so they named the U.S. Navy ship the United States. <laughs> Very creative. Very creative. <laughs> Alright. There we have it, folks. Hopefully these awesome facts will help you push through your hump day. Do not despair, for the weekend is fast approaching, and it's all plain sailing. so much for watching and or listening to this video.